and I'm calling for you. Hello, Sessler Network. This is your commentator, Christopher, from the Cedo Reality Show. You've been sitting there on that dick. Bringing y'all to C4 for real informatic on what's coming on. This is Spirituality 2017, and we got the full gospel message that's what's going on. We're going to talk about devotional scriptures, how one must stand firm into the faith, and use the gift. That's the talent of Gordon. Say to God's holy Bible and holy word. Now, Psalms 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down and bring past it. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me a path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I still feel the evil, because I ride in the staff of comfort. He more than my head with oil, my cup running over. Should the goodness and mercy and all of me, all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's Psalm 23. Now, Psalm 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I would say, Lord is my refuge, my fortress, and my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler, from the voice of pestilence, and shall cover his feather from his and this week set out the drugs and said, so He that dwelleth in this, in this secret place of the Most High, according to Psalms 91, will keep you under God's divine covenant, under God's divine presence. And the Lord Jesus Christ is usher, say, souls into the kingdom of God. For Romans 10, verse 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in the heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9. And then don't forget John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, who shall ever believe in his parents will have everlasting life. Now, say John 3, 16 talks about the Lord Jesus Christ and how he's compelling hearts and more souls to be converted unto the faith. So when you read Romans 10, verse 9, say, ask the Lord Jesus to come into your heart. They say, Lord Jesus Christ, save me from my sins. And this will awaken you. Say so. We see heaven's redemption so we can be marked with the seals of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want to thank God for the platform. For it's the power of the cross. It's saved. For whoever so spirit that has to confess that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is of God. I should have given that I should have given it in For it's the spirit of God that bears witness. For to be a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, one must be saved. One must come into the sanctity of knowing what the Lord Jesus Christ has had for the divine calling. So you can see revelations for, uh, for the divine purpose for your life. Remember, God has divine purpose for everybody. And I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for the same platform, the media, and the whole social network so people can be able to into the divine world of saints. That's what it's all about. So it's a great uh, glory to the one true and living God. And we're going to look up with Psalms 1. He that does say, he, uh, meditating on the word, word of the Lord, God, Jesus Christ. And then Colossians 1, 8 to 24 verse. Staying in God's will. So hey, that's my time in the box. And we're going to get other spiritual advisors that's going to come through. And we're going to see what soul that's going to be uh, converted unto the faith. So that's my time. And I want to thank for the people that's praying for the uh, focal message and for the divine sacred message of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I just want to say God bless and bring it's the infamous hashtag on where you're at and all your best again. Strive with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding while also striving to another power to your past and deliverance. And remember something good is going to happen to you. The Word Network is the largest.